morning, you guys. You joined me in Frankfurt, Germany. Today's a super, super exciting day. I am going to Denver, Colorado with Tag Heuer to go to Pike Speaking of it. And guess who is here with me? It's Mr. Archie Hamilton. How are you doing? All right, yeah, all good. I'm excited. excited. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to be absolutely we're, unbelievable. I think. We're lucky, I'm super guys. excited. So we're going with Tag. We're flying now from Frankfurt to Denver. What I thought I'd do is do an overall vlog of the whole experience. So this is going to be a very vloggy video. We've got some really exciting stuff. We've got set our schedule, which looks unbelievable. But first things first, we need to hop onto the plane to go to Denver. Mate, this is crazy. Look what I've just seen. My seat number. Focus. Feel free to focus. There we go. Damn it. Can you point at the seat number? <laughs> there it. No, down. Down. One. One. That One. means that means any situation you are the man in control of the whole plane. Oh no. <laughs> Bad idea. Remember to never forget your stool when traveling. You know, you, don't, you never want to forget that. What, no. what happens if you need to get a little bit taller? Alright, Archie. Alright, so good. You're all set up. Yeah, what well, kind of? I'm just putting my bags away. Yeah. Go on then. Go all on right. then. Get those muscles out. Shall we um Yeah. yeah. I'm anyway. <laughs> just me. I'm we traveling together. I'm yeah. sat in row number one. If, if you don't mind, is that possible? Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Are you allowed to have some? Wine, uh, water's perfect for me. Thank you so much. Cheers. On to Denver. No, this is We managed to sit next to each other. This is all so fancy. But the TV screen's so far away. It's like in a different time zone. How does this work? Do you just... Ooh! Ooh! Things are happening. So what, you can pull the screen out? Oh wow, oh very, hey, hi guys. <laughs> oh look, there goes that thing. Cheeky little tank horror bag. What are you doing? This is gonna be my in-flight entertainment. While you try and sleep, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be putting your seat in all sorts of positions. Launch control, that's what we just did. Nord to 60 in exactly. It's a long runway. Hello, Sherlock Holmes in the house. Yeah, yes, it is a big plane. It is a big plane. What you want is a Chiron right there to test out your top speeds. Although you probably couldn't, but you could test out the excel I'm gonna stop. Found a movie called How to Break Up with My Cat. It's all you really need, isn't it, on a flight? Thank you very much. Look at this. Oh, can I can I try two? This one, please. And then this one, please. Thank you so much. Amazing. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a Carrera. Tag or your crew. Plug it. Can you Very see nice. it properly on there or? Uh, no, maybe if I wait, I can probably switch the light. There it is. Oh, that's very cool. So that's a Carrera Caliber 16. Oh, also, AO can't come on this trip, but after this, we're heading over to London. And uh, he'll be joining us there if you're wondering why AO's not here. That's why. That's perfect. So Thanks. Greedy. Yeah, sorry. The point of today's video, by the way, is mainly to bring you along. I think I'm doing it all in one vlog. Hey. And it's going to be bringing, whole thing. Yeah, bringing people along on what it's like to get invited on a weekend like this. So far, it's pretty sick. We're the enjoying it. good. <laughs> no, there's not many people. Welcome to Colorado. Why do I always get pulled over for questioning? The jet lag is real. Man. The jet lag is real? Are you actually tired? Have you slept on the plane? I'm knackered, man. <laughs> I got taken aside for a random check. Second time today. Like, does this, does the matching outfit let, make me look sketchy? Waiting for the bags now. And then onto the hotel. You know what? Let's spin there. Way well, now morning, you ladies and gentlemen. How are you guys doing? Sorry, I'm full of energy. I'm jet lagged. I've been up since 4 a.m. Because we're in America, check out this room. It's very nice. We're actually, I'm, well, I'm staying here by myself. I don't know why I have two beds, but I'm changing rooms uh, today, so I won't bother giving you a room tour yet. I can see you, mate. Look, Archie's come over here to wake me up. What's this? Friends for a newspaper. Newspaper? Yeah. That's sick. Okay, cool. Let's check out on the world. I think we're going to a museum now. Yeah. Let's go to the lobby and find out. Yeah, we just visited the Pikes Peak Museum here at the hotel, which was absolutely fascinating. I thought it was a good moment to tell you a bit more about why I'm here, why Archie and I were invited out by TAG. Every year there's this race called Pikes Peak, which is a hill climb with 156 corners, I believe, and one of the most 
legendary and dangerous hill climbs and general races there are in the world. There are so many interesting stories about legends that have raced here, crashes, Sebastian Loeb has the record, we just watched a video of that, and it's just an absolutely legendary race. So we thought we would come over, I've never been here to Colorado, to check this race out. What we're gonna do now is head up to the actual Pikes Peak track, so road, which is hilariously dangerous with cliffs all over the place and it's been going on since the 19, before the 1920s even. So it's one of the oldest races as well. It was the second sort of official race in the United States. And we're gonna go explore the road today and then tomorrow is the actual race, which we're gonna be watching, I believe from the start. This whole video is an experience on how, um, it is to get invited by a company like Tag Heuer and to show you guys, you know, we're, I'm one of you. I never thought I'd be doing events like this to bring you guys along on what it's like to get invited. I mean, we're staying in an absolutely gorgeous hotel. Look behind me right here. And also, I've been given a watch, which I will talk to you more about when we have a bit more time because this isn't the ideal setting. I'll show you around the room as well. So it's probably going to be a long vlog but an interesting one and this is about a 5,000 euro watch that I've been gifted which is very very kind of tag so I want to walk you through the exact watch and all of that later on in the video uh, so for those of you that love watches because cars and watches go hand in hand that will be quite interesting but right now I'm gonna hop into the car head up to the Pikes Peak track and explore a bit there it is that's the start oh look at that so now we are driving up Pikes Peak So about 4 a.m. and before I start talking for too too long, we are heading to the track. <coughs> Just woken up, completely jet lagged, no idea what's going on. Archie, you driving? I'm driving. Archie's driving. We're heading to Pikes Peak. All right, Archie, does it feel like Le Mans again? Yeah, it does. Yeah, same sort of car, same sort of handling. But on the bright side, the reason you can't go too too fast is because there's somewhat of a police escort in front of us, which is helping us get our ways up the hill so that we can watch the cars kick off this morning. It's very, very early. I don't even know exactly what time it is. Five. Okay, well, there you go. There's the information. It's five. Look at this one. What? That is madness. Anyways, let me put my window down so you can see better, actually. Da -da -da -da. Ooh, wow. Here we go. Wow, wow, wow. This is so, so cool to see. There's just such a random array of cars, but it's epic. We've got bikes as well. And it's only about five in the morning and look at all the action that's going on. People in Colorado don't sleep. Struggling a bit to stay awake, however, right now Roman Dumas, which is the favorite for the victory, we're gonna go meet him. Basically, we already said hi to him and spoke for very, very briefly, but now we're going to, oh god, the sun, as soon as the sun comes out, it's pretty bright. We're gonna have a proper little chat, apparently. So, this should be kind of cool because he is most likely going to win today. It's your day, let's say like that. So, uh... Speaking to Dumas, who's got the highest chance of winning today, he's the favorite. Basically the start line right here. I don't know if you can see, there's still bikes going, whoa, that looks wrong, I'm just pointing. I was just pointing at those girls <laughs> just then. But anyways, there's a bike behind them. The bikes are going now and then after that, the cars start. And Dumas is actually the first car to go. So we're super excited, we're rooting for him. French guy, so, you know, being French, I think. I should probably be you're not French. French. Danik, I am French. You're not. I've you're lived in France my whole life. But then you have to be blood related. Doesn't I have matter. a passport. English. <laughs> Anywho. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're rooting for him, so we're just waiting here for him to arrive. Should be pretty soon. Here he is. There, there he is. Go. Dumas. That is one legit looking car. 
Oh, that was pretty insane. Well, that was pretty fascinating. Romain Dumas had a really quick start, but then potentially had a few little technical problems. So couldn't go for the, like, the lap record we were sort of hoping for. We were hoping for an eight minute, 20 second lap, uh, something around there. But he's running more towards nine minutes, which is still probably enough to win the race, but not quite enough to set the record. He was so far ahead of everyone else anyways. But we watched, yeah, probably the five top cars. And then it's not really great for spectating here because you just see the cars go past once on no TVs. So you don't really know what's going on. So we're now going back to a lounge area. We've seen all of the motorbikes and all of the highlight cars from the race. So we're going to see what we do now, whether we head back to the hotel and uh, take it from there. But Pike's Peak is like nothing else I've ever experienced. It's its own individual type of event. And it's really something you need to come and see once in your life because it's completely different, as I say, from anything else. So yeah, absolutely fascinating. Now, on to other things. Well, you join us now, clearly, on the flight back to London. All right. You excited? Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> what are you doing? We're taking, you're not supposed to be like that when we're taking off. I need to talk to them about the reason why Wait, this right. video is called what it's called. Okay, go, what, what, is, it, what is it called? That's why I got given a $5,000 yeah. watch. This is the reason that uh, this video is called what it's called because when we first arrived on this trip, you may have noticed I changed watches compared to what I usually have and Tag Hoyer very kindly gave me this watch. Now let me spin the camera so you can see it properly. Here it is, okay, whoa, focus, there we go. It is a Tag Hoyer, Tag Hoyer Ortavia. Uh, which is one of their newest watches and if you guys remember I went to Basel World as well and when I went there this was the watch they were launching so I've wanted one ever since and Tag have very kindly gifted me this watch which is unbelievable and the cherry on the cake for the end of this trip I mean look at the back of that it is fantastic this watch is in memory of a watch they did back in the 60s it was voted by the fans they did it lots of F1 drivers used to wear it so it just seemed like the right way to do it it's sort of like a classic modern look I love it this was literally just the ultimate thing to end this trip off now being able to have this watch and keep it is unreal for all of you who love watches you know about tag it goes hand in hand with motorsport and this weekend in general has just been absolutely unreal being able to see pikes peak even though it was very hard to film i only have my little vlogging camera and stuff i thought it was too good to not do a video on so here's a video of the entire trip have you had fun uh, i've been cool i'm stealing all your sweets sorry yeah, yeah, then I've, I've, um, stealing i got watch as well Oh, you did, didn't you? Yeah, mine is a Tag Heuer Carrera Caliber 16. <laughs> there it is. Um, how cool is that? It's super cool. We've had an awesome weekend and uh, yeah, this is what dreams are made of, isn't it? Yes, indeed it is. Also, if you enjoyed it, please remember to subscribe and uh, I'll be seeing you again very, very soon wearing this watch. Thanks as always. Cheers, guys. Uh, bye bye. Hey, Quick cap, say, Saturday in the mall.